Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the new and improved snipping tool in Windows 11. Not only can you take screenshots of still images, but now you can actually create videos. Let's go ahead and see how we can do this. You can actually access the snipping tool in a couple of different ways. Let's just first do it using the search tool. I'm going to click on search. I'm just going to type out snip and choose snipping tool. Now this is going to pop up give me the option to now do a new snip. But now you'll notice that I have two different little tabs here. One is a camera and one is a video camera. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm just gonna simply choose new. And now this is gonna pop up with a few different types of snips I can do. Now, number one, here's the rectangle mode, right? Where I'm gonna be able to just draw a rectangle about whatever I want. This is gonna be a little more free form. I can just sort of draw sort of haphazardly whatever I want. You're going to see this one is going to be the window mode. I'm going to show you what that one looks like in a little bit. And then this is going to be the full screen. It's pretty much just going to choose everything that's on my screen. So let me go ahead and just first choose this one, the rectangle mode, and just simply click and drag. And as expected, it draws out a nice little rectangle. And then it's going to take a nice little screenshot. And it pops right up. So you can see there that is. Now, this is the result of my screenshot. So let's just go ahead and see what options we have once we actually get the results. So if I wanted to now, I could do a lot of things to this. Number one, I could save it very easily. I can copy and paste it to another document, to an email, whatever I like. I even have the ability to share. And if you click on your three dots here, you can see I can open it up to the file. I can print it. I can do any number of different things. But what I'd like to do at this point is actually mark it up a little bit. So I'm going to come down to this section, and you're going to see I can mark it up in, with any number of different colors. I can change the thickness of the marker that I can mark it up with. I can also use the highlighter, and then I can also erase whatever I do. But then you'll also notice there's a few other nice little gizmos here, which is the ruler, which I really, really like. If I'm using a touch screen, I can use it with my finger if I wanted to, just touch on the touch screen and that will make some markations and allow me to mark up using my finger. And then I can also crop if I've gotten too much. Okay, so let's just start off with a crop. I click on that. And you know what? I actually don't need to see all that. I'm going to click on my checkbox there. Good. And now what I'd like to do is highlight this. So I'm going to use a combination of the highlighter and the ruler in this case, because when I highlight, notice I can choose my highlighter color, green. And when I highlight, it kind of goes a little bit kind of askew. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. So I really like to make it very straight. So I'm going to choose the ruler and then watch this. I'm going to make it so it's going to go perfectly aligned. Can't mess it up. This time I'll do yellow. And now just simply click and drag across. See that? Can't mess it up even if I tried. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and make that ruler go away. And now, love that. Super happy. But now let's go ahead and just do another kind of pen option here. Let's just go ahead and do a red pen. And then I'm just going to do a circle around this. See what I can do there. Beautiful. Love that. Now let's go ahead and just very simply copy that. I'm going to bring that into Word and paste it in. And Perfect, exactly how I want it to be. If I want to put that into an email, I can do that just the same. All right, so now let's go ahead and come back to our snipping tool. This time, I'm going to go ahead and just save it. And you'll notice that when I save it, I have different file format options I want, PNG, JPEG, or GIF, totally up to you. I'll just go ahead and save this as the default. And I'm going to call this Surface Screenshot and save it. Beautiful, and there you have it. Now, next thing I wanna do is I actually would like to do a video of something, because I want you to see how this looks like when I'm actually moving around the screen or any kind of action that I cannot do with a still shot of a screenshot. All right, so I'm going to close this out. I'm gonna come over to here to my Excel document, and let's go ahead and make this bigger because I want to be able to kind of go up and down on these things here, and I want you to see how I'm doing something. So let's come back to my snipping tool, 
and this time I'm going to use the video. So I'm going to say new. So now what I need to do is tell it what is going to be recorded, right? So I really want to have the whole thing there. Why not? Everything but my taskbar. And I'm going to choose start. Three, two, one gives me a nice little countdown. And now from here, I can then just say, hey, listen, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to highlight all this content there. I'm going to go to there. It's keeping up on that. I'm going to go to here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just draw borders around all of those so people can see exactly what to do. Beautiful. And I'm done. So I click stop. And now it immediately takes me to this window where I can now play it. Beautiful. Excellent. And go down there. You can see that. And this is essentially going to be a video for me to share. All right. Now, just like I had earlier, I have all these options now to then share it and to save it and to copy it. All right. So let's go ahead and save it this time. And then notice it's going to save as an MP4. All right. So I'll just go ahead and keep it as the default name. Beautiful. There I am. Super happy with that. And I'll go ahead and close it. Now, let's talk about how we can access the snipping tool with the keyboard shortcut combination. But I'm also going to show you some of the other features that we can do within the snipping tool. So let me go ahead and just restore this to a smaller size. And you'll notice here I have this window. I have a background. And it really could be anything else. But really, my focus is just this window right here. Now, what I'd like to do is make it so just this window is now being snipped. So I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut combination this time to bring up the snipping tool, which is the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the S key. And you'll notice again, I have my rectangular snip, I have my free form, then I have this little magical guy right there. And you'll notice all I need to do is just simply select this one. This is just going to be just the active window right there. So when I select that, you're going to see now I get just this window now selected and snipped. And now if we take a look at the snipping tool down on the taskbar, you're going to see just the window itself and nothing more, not the background or anything else. So this is a great way to do just individual windows as a snip. Now, one thing we're going to do in our next exercise is see how we can mark this up in different ways that we can't do with these tools down here, including text. Although the snipping tool is very valuable in terms of giving you a screenshot and giving you the ability to mark it up with highlights and the ruler and a few other options, it is limited. So let's go ahead and talk about how we can add on other markup features like text and shapes and colors. So I have the most recent snip that I did. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up into another program. Now, if we go over here to the upper right, you're going to see I have my ellipsis and I have this option for open with. When I click on that, you're going to see I can open it up into the Photos app, or I can even open up into some other apps that you may or may not have depending on your computer. Let me just go ahead and quickly open up to the Photos app. And you're going to see this is going to take me now to an app where I can do some basic edits to this if I wanted to. So if you had, let's just say, a photo and you wanted to brighten it up a little bit, or you wanted to do some spot healing of it, things like that, you can absolutely do that, and even basic cropping. So if I click on this option up on top here, it's going to take me to a whole bunch of editing options here in terms of cropping, different kind of lighting adjustments. You can see over here on the right-hand side and even some auto enhancements like you might find on your phone. And then finally, let's take a look at some of these like spot fixes. But we're going to get out of this because I want to go to a more important one that's going to be great for working with screenshots. So let's go ahead, click on our ellipsis, come over here to open with. And this time I'm going to go to paint. Now, if you haven't used paint for a while, you'll see that there are a lot of improvements. So let's go ahead and click on that, choose just once. And now I want you to notice up on top here, I have this amazing toolbar with a number of different features here. First one I want you to notice is the ability to put text onto this, a whole bunch of shapes, and then also you can see all kinds of colors. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw out a nice little thought bubble here and fill it with some text. So I click and drag on that. And then I have the ability to change the outline color if I want to, and also add on a fill color. So I click on that. I'm going to say solid fill. And then just notice I can put in whatever kind of color I want here as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just put in some text. So I click on this little A icon there, 
And now I'm ready to put in some text. I'll say, great job. Highlight that, make that a little bit bigger. Let's bring it up to 18. Maybe I want to bold it. Make sure you highlight it. And I can even move it around, resize it, do all kinds of different things there. And I am good to go. Now I click away. And you see, now I've got text on this, and now I have the ability to save it. I can go to File. I'll see a whole bunch of other options here, including Print. I can share this with people, do whatever I like from this. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at that. But really great to know that we don't have to stop at the snipping tool. There are other snipping tools out there that have built-in text, but if you want to save yourself a few bucks and also save yourself some time, you can use the tools built into Windows 11 to accomplish the same thing. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.